Okay, I'm going to give you a rundown on how to rig a 9 inch Sicario on a jig head with a belly stinger. First of all, we've got the jig head. Uh, my preferred jig head for the 9 inch is a 9 0 Baramba. I found the, um, the lead keeper on these is more forgiving on the plastic. Still holds it, no worries, but um, it doesn't sort of distort the head as you're pushing it on. Uh, we've got a 2.0 Shout Curve Point 31. Uh, we're rigging this so it's bulletproof, so you can fish bar on this, not just cod. And uh, the Shout 31 is a nice strong hook. Uh, I've got a 1.0 NT Swivel here. These are the best swivels in the world by far and uh, totally bulletproof. They're not going to let you down. Uh, we've got three size 6. BKK splitties. Um, I found the size six to be definitely strong enough for Barra, and with three of them, you get the correct hang length to get a bit of play in your treble. Uh, I've got a bead here. This is to go over the hook eye, so once the swivel is on the hook shank, this acts as a stopper because this can't pass back over the barb, and uh, that'll stop the chance of the swivel coming back off the hook. Important to check these things so you can sort of just fit through if you force it when it's not on the hook so when it is on the hook it'll um, expand and that definitely won't be able to come over the top of it. And we just got a basic pair of splitties, a pair of scissors for making the hole for the uh, stinger rig to fall through. So now we're just measuring up the jig head with the plastic uh, you'll see the gate will leave the plastic about halfway into the recess here. So we'll just keep that in mind when we're going to rig it. Um, I like a smaller gape hook like this. Um, basically, the bigger your gape, the more force on that point can potentially open the hook. So if you stick with a smaller gape and rig it with a skim rig, so only 7 8 mil down from the top of the bait, you get more strength for wire diameter, which is important. A lot of uh, bigger jig heads, they're just too thick and they're not going to go into many fish. So basically, yeah, we're trying to run the jig head down between that lateral line, probably just, just on top of the lateral line, and that way you get plenty of gape without the thickness. So there we're coming out right where we measured. We'll just go to about there. No need to go any further, that's nice and straight. Now we're going to take our scissors through that same exit hole. We're just going to push down until it pops through to the weedless slot. And you'll see we've got a little hole there. We're just going to leave him like that for now. So now we're going to create the stinger hanger. The split ring. Oh, we're going to swivel first. And just swivel. Split ring on the split ring. Split ring onto so that is the perfect length to get a nice hook freedom on the bottom without being too low hanging. Alright, so we'll grab our bait back just with the hook pointing through. We're gonna push that swivel up. over the point of our hook. Can be a little bit fiddly. Now we're going to push him all the way down. A 
I'm gonna grab a splitties, pull them deep. So now we've got the perfect distance. Just there. Now we've got nice coverage, good length, good gape. We'll uh, grab our splitty here. Open him up. Last but not least, place the bead on. Push him down. And there you go. Fully rigged, ready for anything. Cod, barra, mulloway. Doesn't really matter what you choose to throw, they're not going to break this rig.